Hi, everyone. Uh, there's 332 in the room. Hmm. So, um, so um, hello, everyone. I, I've got a lot going on. Um, uh, you guys gave over $2,000 toward Kirsten, who, by the way, is doing amazing. And uh, she, she says she's down to 102 pounds. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know what that feels like. And so uh, she's doing a live at four, just FYI. And I told her to tell everybody, I sent her her money that you guys sent via me. And plus she got another, uh, plus she got like another $1,700 donation. So, and also I'm going to keep my phone on. Um, because my grandson is in the hospital. Oh, wow. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. He, uh, he was blinded by a headache that was so bad. So we'll is find this, out. Are you talking about Kirsten Langston? Yeah. I didn't know this. What, what's going on? She's not feeling well. It sounds like she'd been sick. Yeah. She had to go, uh, she, what happened is her appendix had burst and they didn't know oh, what happened. Holy smoke. And That's she got, and she was bad. Let me tell you, she just barely made it. Oh my God. But then my daughter called me before we started going on here and said that my little Jane is in the hospital at the ER. And um, apparently he woke up with a blinding headache. He couldn't see. It was so bad. So they gave him some anti-anemic. I guess he was vomiting. And then they're going to give him some Tylenol and they did some tests. They think it might be a flu. So mm -hmm. I'll keep you guys posted and she'll, I left this on so she can text me or call me. Sorry, you guys, but I will interrupt my, uh, my station identification. Anyway, I got to tell you, Kirsten is, uh, 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 anyway, sorry. I looked down at my phone. Hi everybody. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Now we got almost a thousand in the room. How are you doing, Andre? I'm doing well. Yes, I'm doing well. And I'm, uh, I'm sorry to hear about man, these things. You know, when you feel well, you almost feel guilty about feeling well because I know Fair you know what it's like not to feel well. And, and, uh, it's, it's, I hope she, they feel better soon. Both. Yikes. Yeah, no, it's, uh, other than that, we're completely iced over and, uh, they're saying it's going to change soon, but we cannot, it's, there's like a, I live on a, on a kind of a hill and there's, it's like a skating rink. You cannot get out. If you try to get out there now, you'll go straight to the lake. <laughs> Um, they were saying they closed down the airport in Seattle because the ice was yeah. so thick. They yeah. said, don't even try. Yeah. Water Lily just said her youngest daughter suffered from head. I know a lot of young kids suffer from bad headaches. But mm -hmm. my little pumpkin, he's going to be, I got your prayers. And I'll, that's all that matters, you guys. That's what helps. In fact, let me tell Dan to get over here. Dan, Dan does some good prayers. You know what I'm saying? come to my live so um yeah kirsten was near death i'm going to tell you she's scorpio yeah scorpio you know the thing the thing with the fixed signs the taurus scorpio leo aquarius is that because saturn is has been uh challenging though that those four you're just exposed to stuff happening uh yeah and that uh, but it's going to change in the spring though in the spring it moves into I'll yeah. let her know. I don't know if she's watching this, but I'll let her know that mm -hmm. you said perhaps the springtime. Tell, tell her that I'll take a look at her chart and and if she likes, I can you speak have her. Do you have her? I her? do. I have her chart and I, I can definitely speak with her and we can, yeah, especially if I see the timeline of when it started and so forth. It was last week because I did that event for her on the 14th. Um, mm -hmm. Nell and I did a thing and donated all the proceeds to her. Mm -hmm. 
I'll tell you, when people, like for Violetta, when her husband was sick, I did a thing, and hers was 2000 Everybody is just, but, you know, YouTube does take a good chunk out. Hmm, that's true. But that's so nice of you. Yeah. But I also had private people who sent her money via her donation e uh, PayPal. So that was another seventeen hundred there. So she, you know, she can doesn't have to worry about paying the rent. That's the main thing. That's excellent. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and hi, you guys. Hi, Lisa. Hi, everybody. Hi, Lorraine. Water Lily. Thanks for coming. Okay. So, um. Anyway, of course, nothing is happening except that damn report, and everybody's upset that they didn't mention Jenny Thomas. And I can't help but wonder, was that? Uh, Cheney that didn't want her in there. Hmm. I wonder. But I, ha I have felt, you know what? Some, oh, I know a friend of mine who works in politics. She said to me, you know, Linda, when she gave her de deposition, when she was there in front of Congress, she was very adamant that she felt that the votes had been stolen, that this had been taken. But they said she was like whack job. So they kind of looked at her like, you know yeah yeah and i mean and the thing is it is possible yet you have to allow for that that despite clarence thomas being the way he is which we know and despite that she's the wife and everything she already had previous cult experience you know the i mean how do you end up in a cult you have to your mind has to be a bit malleable in my opinion to just follow some cult thing and this was another cult and she latched onto it and she was texting people crazy things. But maybe they couldn't find something that was really too direct or, you know, that really implicated it. And they thought there's no point. Just, you know, ignore I that. I definitely and see Clarence Thomas having to step down. Either he's ill or his wife is ill. But it's definitely because somebody's not right. Well, he, I know I know that his chart has, when he was, I haven't looked at it in a while, but there was a point there where he was reported to be sick. And you could see it, it was pretty clear in there. But I gotta look to see if it extends because you know, sometimes age is hard and everything. It's how you know, like for instance, people like Putin and Trump, they've got a thing going for a long time, and that's really risky when you're right. living this way, because the planets can find you at different times, and especially as you age. I can't remember with Thomas, but he's isn't he uh he's already in his seventies, right? Something yeah, like that. Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's always more risky when when you start to to get sick at that age. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. hey Dan, Dan's finally here. We've been waiting on you. We couldn't even start till you showed up, Dan. <laughs> you know when I see that mountain in the back of you? Yeah. You know what comes to my mind? Oh no. <laughs> my parents saying you have no idea how long we used to have to walk to school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we it, it's really mountainous here, but I don't think it's from this area, this mountain. But it's definitely yeah. where I live. It's pretty mountainous. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. But you guys are freezing your patukas off. The, the which? Are you freezing your patukas off? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it, it's it's so cold that because uh, we're not used to this, so the heating here is pretty good. But if you go near the places where there are no vents at night, it is really cold. I mean, you can feel the the you know sub zero weather. So, yeah, absolutely. I worried. I was talking to Dan last night. I worry about what happens to the birds and the animals. And I guess, you know, like the birds, I guess when they fluff up their feathers, they can keep heat in. And they burrow yeah. in trees and stuff. A animals are incredibly resilient because that's all they think about is how to survive. So they've, they've developed, yeah. uh, you know, good methods. Uh, but they, and they can get through st uh, stressing times like this. They can't handle long term, though, I heard. Yeah, well, it would be pretty rough here if, if you if you're an animal that parked yourself in this part of the world and then starts to get cold for too long. Yeah, I would think that would be a problem for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you, for Lorraine. Sure. So, listen, give us the tippet you received on. Uh, you were looking at uh, uh, Zelensky's chart. Yeah, no, Zelensky. The thing with Zelensky is that is that it was always something that I remember back when it happened uh, because he's an Aquarius. And that's another example, right? That's that, again, those four signs, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. So an Aquarius in a high post like, like him, and then all of a sudden a war is launched and he's you know, in the middle of a war zone. And there were some pretty tricky aspects. I mean, the, the thing about those aspects 
are that either he could have been killed or he's going to be surrounded by death, which is what's happened. But you see that going into the spring, the sign changes and releases the pressure on his chart. And yet you can see that he'll remain a major public force because going into the next five years easily, he's, he's right up there in the firmament around you know, being a leader and, and being influential. And uh, so when you look at that and you pair it with the fact that the spring change is not good for Putin, it causes uh, problems on the health level, potentially uh, just maladjustment energies. You know, that kind of tells you that this thing that Putin has been doing by following an overexpansive planet that has been the case in 2022 is likely to come back to haunt him, probably in part because he may run out of resources. You know, these things often uh, pan out in the end. If your money runs out, then you can't buy as many weapons and so forth. So right. uh, I think Zelensky's played his cards really well. And, uh, I, you know, I would think if he can hang in there, though, I mean, there's still a risk. That's the thing that it's not done yet by any means. But I would say he's done extremely well. I just can't believe those uh, Jim Jordan and Matt Gates uh, downgrading him because I uh, hate what he wore to the Congress. Well, you know, he's in a battle. I mean, what do you expect? I mean, well, you know what I said in the meantime, this is the man who won the Nobel Pre Peace Prize. I know. I mean, and, I mean, and yeah, which you, you two characters would never win. <laughs> right. I mean, maybe the Democrat should have said, well, I guess he should have dressed up as an astronaut, right? And come into the, uh, you know, right. like from, his, from the period in his astronaut career that he had. That way he could have impressed everybody. It's just so, like, they're always looking for the, the stupidest things. It's like when Obama was president, the, his biggest mistake was that he, that he wore a tan suit, you know? Oh, they were. I mean, or Michelle when she had a sleeveless. Yeah, exactly. Well, she had arms to show. I mean, she was probably working out. Why not? Yeah, and beautiful <laughs> skin color. Hello. Hey, um, Darren, I just want you to know that Dan told me about, I didn't know about suet cakes. Apparently, they're very good for your birds. Because I always have bird feed, my, um, a hummingbird drinks. You know, they have the sugar water. And I just bought some of that, that suet cakes. And I do mm -hmm. premium bird seed. Nice. That's nice. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Jim Jordan doesn't really wear a suit, does he? He kind of looks sloppy. Him yeah. and Matt Gates, and they're all, well, I know that uh, Zelensky wouldn't be showing nude pictures of women on the Congress floor like Matt Gates did. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm starting to, uh, at first I was really disappointed that the Democrats couldn't hold the House, but I'm starting to realize that that for the 2024 election this may be better because you know the way people are when you think of millions of voters voters fall asleep and if you don't keep them focused on what is really going on they go off on a tangent really easily and they don't pay attention in the same way so the way these guys are going to carry on is helpful because voters will keep realizing yeah this thing could happen again i mean the way they behave you know bringing in all these things that don't matter and and uh focusing on you know, approving in any way of the way people like Marjorie Taylor Greene are doing things, and by extension, yeah. Trump. You know, I mean, look at this report. You start reading it, and it's it's completely crazy. He was, you know, someone said today, he's the most undisciplined person you'll ever meet. But for this, he seemed to have pretty good discipline. He was like a really good criminal. He was organizing everything and preparing the fake electors. And, you know, uh -huh. so for that, he's he'll show up like a true mobster. So uh, it's dangerous stuff, and we have to make sure that we vote against it or even whoever is in this place. And I'll tell you something else about that, right? Okay. I got to do a video about this showing the astrology, but uh, DeSantis, some some of them call him a death Santis and the Satan. Uh, this guy, okay, so the thing is, he's a Virgo, right? And Virgo is the sign of health. And notice that early on, in uh, a while back, when the pandemic hit, there are all these videos of him saying, Get the them. vaccines are good, take the vaccines. Okay, that's when he's listening to his true self. Now he's, he's talking the opposite. That's a really bad idea, both because you said something different and because you're going against your own sign, right? Yeah. So he's actually a really bad candidate for the 2024 election because he's going in with Saturn opposite his sign and preparing the way by messaging in a way that I think is going to blow up in his face because you shouldn't, you shouldn't 
in a sense, attack your own science, so to speak. He knows very exactly. well that that's false. You know, he's just playing exactly. to the to the MAGA crowd. You know, so. Thank you, Gina. Yeah, he's suing, isn't he suing the CDC or the health department? It's crazy. Yeah, he's, he's doing. He's saying that uh, they need to investigate uh, the fact that these the companies that produce the vaccines because they harmed people, right? And which is cool, utter right? foolishness. They have all kinds of evidence, actual data to show that. By and large, in very huge numbers, right? You can yeah. see the data protected people from dying. So, yeah. what else can they do? Yeah. That, that's what it is. Hi, Gina. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, Ron. Ron's here. He's so good at looking after channels. So, um, you know that it looks really bad on that lawsuit with Carrie Lake. Well, what do you expect? As usual, she goes in there, and these guys go into, these guys and gals go into court. With no evidence, they think that they think that evidence is you say things. You know, you get a megaphone and you say this is true, this is true. Many judges have said you can't win a case by just saying things. You have to produce evidence. You know, it's, right? Exactly. It's, where's the evidence? Right. She'll say, well, like there was a guy apparently who one of her people, uh, one of her experts in quotes, was asked about the votes, and when asked, he finally had to admit, yeah, yeah, okay, they were going to count the votes because they were trying to pretend that. There would be uncounted votes, and the the lawyer asked him, "Well, are you I saying that they were counted?" No, no, okay, they were counted. So, if they were counted, then where's the argument? Where's the beef? Basically, you you have no case, right? So, I mean, you know, this is the thing that I think what people need to focus on is that what keeps the U.S. Uh, humming along and working is the rule of law. If you start destroying the rule of law, you destroy everything, you know, exactly. because that's the whole idea. We gotta follow the rules so that we can keep things going. Otherwise, people like Trump can just say, no, no, the rules don't apply here. I'll just make my own rules. And then everything falls apart. You know? Exactly. But so, hey. Somebody wrote, uh, uh, an astrologer said Biden would be, this probably, I wonder if this is a Trumpster. Biden would be uh, hit with corruption. Biden. Yeah, sure. Biden would be hit with corruption, yeah. <laughs> an astrologer. Know. You know, you I can mean, really... I mean, ask yourself this question, right? Okay, so is it or is it not true that uh, the ferry over there in South Carolina, uh, Lindsey Graham, prior to this period of time, he's on camera saying how amazing a human being Biden is. He's almost crying. Oh, no, he's at, crying. At Biden's benevolence. And all of a sudden he's participating in this, in this garbage and they're making up things about how, you know, Biden the criminal. That's the total opposite. Now his son, that's a different story. And I say, if Hunter Biden committed crimes, then he should be held accountable. Yeah, but, but they so can't use that computer because it wasn't under scrutiny. It's been handed here and there. Yeah. Well, be on a reasonable doubt. That was it. What right. was on the computer? I mean, I almost feel like he should, you know, when they call him to Congress, do you remember that movie with uh, with uh, Paul Newman? There was a movie where he he's being questioned in court and they're uh -huh. trying to implicate him in a crime. And he just looks at the, 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 uh, the lawyer saying, you did this and you did that. He looks at him and he says, prove it and because he knew they couldn't oh, yeah. i mean you know you they can say a lot of things you know about whatever but in the end you need to prove it in order to make a exactly. case in point. Yeah, exactly so. and you have to have continuity of of care or where that where that object was that's what happened with the oj trial they yeah. were taking stuff home with them how can you yeah. take stuff home with you and then say oh yeah be under uh, somebody's saying give Kevin the wrench, but I don't know. I can, I don't think I can do it here, Kevin. I'll do it another place. Um, uh, I can't do it from uh, this particular thing. I don't know why. Wow, two thousand are watching. Thank Me. you. Merry Christmas, everybody. So, have you taken a look at our Biden? Uh, Hunter Biden. Uh huh. Yeah, well, his I, there's no birth time, but with what I see, he actually his chart he's got another fixed sign. The pressure is in 21 and 22, but it goes down in 23. There's still pressure there, but when you take away the Saturn pressure, you take away the potential big pickle. So, to my mind, that's again the wrong way to go. If they start pulling the guy in and making noise. It'll be like, to me, it's Benghazi part two. You know, Benghazi was this, this fishing expedition where they couldn't find anything. Now, I'll tell you though, these guys, they know that if they keep people in the news with a lot of negativity, it does work because this is what hurt Hillary. She had like a, 
70% approval rating, and they kept bringing her and asking her questions, and it went down. But thing is, first of all, that only works for their people now, and they already have their people. They need to get new people because to win elections, you got to expand the votes, right? So right. I, I just don't see, you know, how this is a good strategy, but maybe it's better that well, they do it. And then the, the thing, even Trump agreed they should have never impeached uh, uh, President Clinton over a BJ. And um, his, his, he won by a landslide with the next time, the next time he won by a landslide. Yeah. Well, I, actually, people that was were tired of what they were doing. And, and I think people were tired. I honest to God think Hillary won. She, obviously, she got the most votes, but I think he had a foreign entity in there helping him. And well, then we know. because of reality winner, because she said what was going on, she saw it, it, that they were cheating, that Russia was helping. And then yeah. when she announced it, they threw her in jail. But the voting people shored up all their stuff. That one guy, uh, Trump fired him for saying this is the most secure voting we've ever had. He was furious at him for saying that. But yeah. it's true. Yeah. yeah. No, and I mean, that, Trump's problem, though, is that in that report, and of course, we'll see how they use it because it's harder, even with all that evidence, it's harder to convict on that than on the records at Mar-a-Lago, that's easier because you have actual paper, right? But right. you can see that Trump was clearly setting it up. He knew he had lost and he was engineering a coup. That's what he was doing. But he's going to pretend like, oh, no, no, I, I didn't, you know, it all happened by magic. Everybody showed up at the January 6th and started making noise. And that has nothing to do with me. We'll see about that because there are all these records, you know, pointing to a clear path. But still, I bet anything, if I had to guess, I think they're going to indict him on the on the records because it's easier you know oh on stealing the the uh stealing the records well yeah taking them home and then obstructing justice oh, yeah. well listen that's the slam dunk it, it, yeah. it's beyond in fact this thing even that wonderful woman who came out and said the truth they can do this and that but it's still sort of hearsay you know what i'm saying so you mean uh you mean uh are you talking about cassidy Ca cassidy yeah, what do you mean by you know, hearsay? You know she's telling the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And they may be able to collaborate with some of it. But isn't that interesting? I always said a woman would take Trump down, and I can't help but wonder. Well, about you know, I, I got a comment on my channel, someone saying she's lying. The, the uh, Secret Service says it's not true. Okay, so ask yourself this question. Have you seen the Secret Service testify anywhere? I don't see anybody. They, I hear in the background, but nobody goes before Congress and says anything. And imagine that you're in front of a grand jury. I guarantee you, she'll say the same thing. She'll say, that's what I heard. And uh -huh. I heard Trump say, let the mags go because these people aren't trying to hurt me. That's a direct a direct thing. It's not hearsay, right? And when you put a secret service on the stand, is he going to lie then too? Because I'm suspicious that then they'll tell the truth or they'll say- Well, at first they were saying she was lying and then they started really closing in on him. They stepped back from it. Yeah, let them say it in court. And I bet you anything, the Secret Service guys, the most they'll ever say in court is, I don't recall. That's what they'll say, right? So well, that's what they were trying to tell her to say. Yeah, I know. But she she was so too honest. That with guy that got hit, you know, they're talking about him getting uh, getting his license lost. Well, yeah. yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? It, he, he told her to lie without telling her to lie. It's like, a, you know. Uh, that's like a mobster when they say, well, you know what I'm, you know, like Trump will never tell you directly. He'll say, you need to be loyal to me. And, you know, if you're loyal, then good things will happen. And, you know, all that kind of stuff. Mob talk, you know. So, right. And he's already been, hasn't he already been fired from his job? So he's already hurting that, uh, or he's on leave or something, right? That he has been walked away. He had to leave his job. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, uh, I think. Oh, I saw that electric storm. There was a deadly shooting in France. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, uh, it's just it's just people that want to cause chaos. That's going to go on for a while. Yeah, well, that I mean, in a way, if you expect a, a planet with seven billion people to not almost always be featuring some problem, including horrible problems somewhere, it's you know. I mean, keep in mind that. In this day and age, we're so connected with the media that we learn about everything that happens everywhere. Uh, yeah. th there was a time when people only knew about their backyard and didn't know that there was some horrible thing happening up the road, even a few miles, much less 10,000 miles away, right? So, right. 
Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Um. So, and, you know, because astrology is a huge place, a huge thing to to mm-hmm. tap into. When I get my hits, it's got nothing to do with astrology, off obviously. But I really feel batten your seat, uh, fasten your seatbelts because we're getting ready to have some real bumps. Partly, I feel. Now, the January 6th isn't the forefront as much as the um, the top secret records. Mm-hmm. And I see just bada bing, bada boom. And it might not, it might, it'll be after Christmas. Mm-hmm. Although I think Jack Smith is thinking about something right before Christmas. Like mm-hmm. a nice little Christmas present. I, that would be fun. <laughs> he, can't, he can't stand Trump. That would be fun. That would be total fun. No, you know, he legally he's not supposed to say that out loud, but he can't stand. But I see him talking to Merrick Garland because he has to pass everything by him first. Well, and I see good. him saying, okay, here, here's what we've got. I'm seeing February and March, and I'm seeing bada bing, bada boom. But it's not about January 6th as much yet. The mm-hmm. January 6th feels like it'll come a little later. Yeah, you know, and then there's the the funny Willis. I keep hearing that she's ready to do something. I mean, you know, th- this kind of thing, sometimes what will happen is when one drops, then they all start to drop like dominoes because it's it's sort of the way it goes. I see this in astrology too, that when your situation is hard, it's like when it rains, it pours. You get more than one event. And by the way, it's why sometimes you see these really freaky things where a person will win a lottery twice Yeah, it's because... In a lottery is really hard to win once, right? Oh, and I know. Hear of a crazy story. It's because the when the planets are really good. Like in other words, if you ever win a lottery, my counsel to you is immediately take a big chunk of that money and buy a ton of lottery tickets because there's a good chance you'll win another one again. You're in that zone. Don't wait. Spend some money because then you'll have some money to spend. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and gamble. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It says, will the January sixth summary lead to high level criminal charges? I, I would say yes, for sure. I would say yes. Or do you feel it's Trump or do you feel it's somebody else, some other people? I feel it's all of them. I feel that it, this it's just that what is very, uh, I guess, difficult to accept is how slow the system works. Like Trump's genius is that he understands really, really well that in a democracy, people have a lot of rights and it's not easy to convict anybody. And it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. It should be difficult, right? But he knows that manipulating the message and pushing things to the limit and delaying and doing all kinds of things works really well. And including, he knows the First Amendment, you can say whatever you like, which I think should be limited in some way because why are politicians allowed to say something in public and then deny it in court? That to me is, uh, I think it's incorrect. It should be corrected. But anyway, he knows this and so he can delay and so forth and it takes quite a while. You gotta make your case really, really well. It's, it's that simple, you know. I but, just see Trump going downhill and downhill and downhill. Mm-hmm. Me too. I That's exactly, yeah. I know he's talking to Carrie Lake to be his VP pick. I can see it. I yeah, can I smell it. But he's not even going to make it that far. Yeah, sure. That that shows you, by the way, that's Carrie Lake's emotional intelligence to get near a guy like this and think that it's going to be a winner. This is what I call ruining your, your career for a decade or more, probably forever, you know. I mean, she had a lot of personality. She used to love Obama, for goodness sakes. Yeah, well, that's how you know. I mean, immediately you know, if a person goes from Obama to Trump, you have to be a little dim-witted or corrupt. And this also happened with Elon Musk. He used to be a big Obama supporter. And now all of a sudden, he's trying to promote the right-wing nuts and putting up messages like prosecute Fauci. I mean, this is really inflammatory stuff. Why would you say that about a, a public servant who's trying to protect people's lives? Where's your brain, you know? And and you used to be an Obama supporter? Please, he's, you know. He's weird like Jenny Thomas weird. Yeah, well, I, I, he, well, you know, but no, but Elon Musk is smarter than Jimmy Thomas. Sorry, but, you know. Okay. But <laughs> I think he's going downhill big time. And I think he when he went to the soccer thing uh, that the Saudis said, you know what? He's losing money hand over foot. Yeah, yeah, he is. He is. And, he's, and, and I think that's why he pulled back. Uh, and I'll, I'll be watching like uh, with things like this. I, I said it to someone recently that you can follow a person's chart and see what they're doing, how they're dealing with planetary pressure. And so I'll be able to tell if his discipline is coming back or if he continues to 
you know, act out in a way that is against his, his best interest because he's lost a big chunk of his wealth because of this. You know? The Tesla alone, it's down to, yeah. I yeah. heard you're talking about voting him out, getting him out. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then the, um, the car thing, the big car people that, uh, you know, tell you what car is good and what car is bad. They're saying Tesla is not a good car anymore. Really? Which, yeah. uh, oh, one of those services online that analyzes? Yeah, no, like a car, there's a there's some place that rates cars uh, and they've rated his car bad. Yeah, that and that tends to hurt, not to mention that this is the other thing that's crazy, is that most of the people that buy Teslas are, you know, affluent Democrats, liberals, and he, because they're the ones that believe in, more likely to believe in, uh, you know, environmental causes and all this, and he's directly attacking them, and then they're going to take it up as a cause not to buy a Tesla. It's it's just, it's crazy. No, that's all I can say. It's I used crazy. to think I would want a Tesla. My son wants a Tesla, but I, I would never do Tesla now. Yeah. He scares me. He scares me. Yeah, well, he it's like off the wall, avant-garde things. Even Trump had some sort of a thing that was going on. Like mm. he was, he was stupid. <laughs> Remember when he was talking about our ancestors and the, and the airports? I know. The bombs I know. burning in the airports. It's like there was no airports in the 1800s. You know what, what? And what's worse? What's worse? Him saying that, or people that follow him not realizing they're dealing with a person like this, and exactly, and bailing now, out. You know what's going to happen with George Santos? Did you take a look, see on him? I haven't looked at his yet. But his just the feeling he gives me from uh, the history, the visage. The my sense is that. He's likely going to get harassed and embroiled in problems, you know, and he likely be one of those house members that ends up spending more time answering questions than participating he in the politics. He lied about everything, right? The witch? He's, isn't George Santos the one that lied about everything? Or is that well, somebody else? Yeah, that's the, isn't that the, that's the house candidate that got elected, but he made up all kinds of stuff. He even about, said his, his, his parents came from the Holocaust or something. It was a total lie. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, though, the GOP these days, they don't seem to care if people lie or don't lie. That's <laughs> Let's see, you guys. I'll do three on George Santos. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. The tower. So he's going to get ready to be blown up. He thought he was going to be able to do something in this world, but he, you know, he's got an illness. He's... Not that he's physically ill, but he's one of those liars that just keeps lying and thinks he can make money off of it. If I say these things, I'll get a payback, but it's a short payback. Well, he 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 surely behaved that way, that's for sure. You know, no question. It's like when I walk around telling people I'm 110 pounds and folks just figure it out. I don't know why, but <laughs> you can't lie to folks. You know what I'm saying? They well, can control. We also had <laughs> Sweden say Merry Christmas too. We had someone here from Sweden. I'm worried, you guys, so much about there's millions of people without power right now. Mm-hmm. Millions. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a difficult moment. I mean, and, and probably the worst is Ukraine, where they're being bombed on a daily basis, and so they don't have access to to good, you know, heat and and so on. And that's to the you know to the Republicans criticizing Zelensky when he's part of that situation i mean can you imagine it's e- easy to oh it's far away it doesn't affect you but that's serious stuff you know right it's, uh, it's really and hard. i definitely know that uh tish james she's really going to get trump good i'm going to tell you don't you worry you guys don't worry about it it's going to happen yeah well she has she has the numbers and she also has a prior conviction uh so that's established already right and now right. she has to make the case it's a little more difficult with with criminality because you got to get a jury to you know when it's a criminal charge you got to get the jury to to agree around it so Um, what are you guys doing for the holiday uh well we're hopefully going to uh florida to visit my mother but that depends on on whether or not the weather cooperates and it's going to be touch and go right do you have something to cook at home just in case the TV dinner or something? 
Oh yeah, no, we're fine. We're fine, but but uh, we need the big melt now pretty quickly after the big freeze, and we're hoping that that's what they're saying that that any minute now the temperature is going to rise to above freezing, and it'll start to melt, and then tomorrow it'll rain and melt some more, and if that happens, it'll it'll make it possible. Okay. Okay. Uh, By the way, uh, you you had asked about uh, a U.S. president. Uh, yeah. And I, I checked that out if you wanted to hear the story. Oh, yes. Well, let me tell them a little bit of the story. Okay. Jane Celestia get to, just did something funny. She said she goes to Abercrombie and Fitch and asks for a size one. And they say yes. And I go one X and they laugh. <laughs> Glass onion. What does that mean? You're Eerily the- topical. Thank you, Candace, for your donation. Do you see more extreme weather in the future? That's more for me, you guys. You Astrologically, you don't pick up stuff. I see mm-hmm. earthquakes and I see some bad weather, but I'll talk about that on Sunday. But let me, guys, let me tell you guys a story. And I contacted Andre. And thank you. So I didn't know if you were going to be able to have time to look it up. I looked so up. I, you know, as you guys know, I really love um, uh, Ulysses S. Grant. And um, I've been listening to his biography which is on my my channel of when i drive so i can listen to it and um so i was listening about how he was winning the wars in the south and that a lot of the southerners left and they left their fr- slaves behind who who now are freed slaves and so um he had built you know it was a big problem but he made sure they built cabins for them He made sure they had food. He made sure they had proper schools, proper health care. He did little hospitals and everything. I was so proud of my heart was beaming when I hear this, right? I'm driving. Apparently, 18, what was it? 18, what was the year he did that? 1862 in December. In December of 1862, he decided he didn't want any Jewish people. And he demanded that they all pack their stuff and go out of what was the first one, Kansas, right? Was it Kansas? Um, I can't remember, but I know that. This one Jewish family had gotten kicked out of Prussia and finally settled and built a business. And then he's told, they're told they have to go just because they're Jewish. And um, he really had a mean attitude about it. Apparently it had something to do with cotton. He thought they were taking over the cotton And he was mad about it. And his father, Ulysses' father, tried to get two Jewish friends of his uh, permits to be able to get cotton so they could do the uniforms. And he went crazy and told them, now they have to go, blah, blah, blah. Well, thank goodness, uh, the president of the United States, who loved Ulysses S. Grant, he said, Ulysses, you can't do this. You can't just condemn uh, a group because of their religion or their culture, just like you can't condemn a black man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to have to reverse this. You can't do it. Apparently he cut it off. But the good news is, because my friend Dan looked it up last night. The good news is when he became president, in order to make up for this, something happened. He had an awakening and he realized that was a terrible thing to do. He was probably one of the first presidents that hired more Jewish people to come into the White House than any other group. Mm -hmm. So what did you see? So I sent, he was a Taurus, right? The 27th of April? He was a Taurus and uh, he, to my mind, is an example of someone who made a big mistake, obviously. And when I looked at the 62 date, he had, and this is quite common that the uh, racist and uh, at times fascist, you know, because fascism and racism go really well together because fascism, fascism is the logic that, okay, what, what I say goes, we're going to centralize this and exclude who we don't like. That's usually a Pluto situation in astrology. And in, in uh, 1862, around that period, he had, Pl- Pluto was really near his sun. He's got this cluster of planets in Taurus. Pluto was going through there. And separately, there was another planet affecting his natal Pluto. So there was a lot of Pluto energy. And this is like a uh, being possessed by Kool-Aid of the wrong type, you know, and so he makes this big mistake. But to his credit, by 1868, 
he got he got elected and he apologized and said that was the worst thing I could ever could have done. He did and apologize so, out loud. Oh yeah, he said he mentioned it over and over. It brought in people. So here's where I mean, can you imagine if Trump admitted that you know if he said yeah this was my fault? Can you imagine? Well, that's not going to happen, right? Not going to yeah. happen. So this is the idea that you know yes, of course. In fact, the the story that I saw said he never lived. You know, he it haunted him his whole life that he had made this mistake. But he did get elected. So that tells you, by the way, that he was able to change the message, change his ways. And his administration is one of the most uh, progressive that there was. In fact, I remember in my looking back at uh, the astrology the last century plus, I remember posting videos saying that the Ulysses S. Grant administration and then uh, the, uh, Teddy Roosevelt in the early part of the um, 20th, 20th century and all the things that followed with uh, the next Roosevelt and Clinton and Kennedy and now Biden, all of that is Saturn and in Aquarius and Pisces, which is where we are now. And why I, I remember saying before Trump lost, this is a big indicator that he's going to lose because the public tends to go to progressive administrations. He was a Republican, but Republican then was what today is, you know, the Green Democrat. Party, the Klein Party. So you got to give him credit that at least he backtracked and he said, I made a mistake. Oh, and, yes, I totally, because it broke my heart. I felt like someone punched me in the gut. When I got home, I had gone to the Bunko Christmas party and I, I wish I had to turn it off. I was just speechless. And, it, you know, because I was even planning on going to visit the spots where he was born and where he died and everything, you know, as a tourist. And I was just shook it up to my core. And I'm so glad I told Dan about it. He looked it up and told me about how he really worked hard to change. Well, look, you read this nice thing about him taking freed slaves and making sure they're comfortable and doing the right thing, not saying, hey, dudes, it's your problem. You know, it's it's strange because when you look at his chart, the thing about his chart that's interesting is they have a very precise time. Yeah. I don't know how they came across that. It, it might be fudged a little bit, but the if they're, because they said 6 a.m. and then someone did some correction and made it 5.48 a.m. and, you know, whatever. But the moon is going to be, roughly in the same spot because that doesn't change that much in a few minutes and it's curious that the moon right now is under a kind of a form of attack so we're bringing him up and you know the idea that it's many years later he's no longer here but you can look at charts post-mortem as well and and see patterns in people's lives because that right. was the imprint and so uh it's curious that way also <laughs> taurus taurus is again part of that axis taurus scorpio leo aquarius they're more likely to be challenged, attacked or whatever. But I think, quite honestly, this guy, in my opinion, he did the right thing. He did, you know, even, by the way, even if he didn't believe it, even if inside, uh, you know, it's kind of thinking, but he was smart enough to back off and join the, the majority. The majority was against him so that he could yeah. get elected, right? So. Well, and, and the other thing is when he was president, he did everything in his power to stop the KKK. Right. He, the United States of America, fought the KKK all the time. And right. then people were getting tired of it. They said, quit using our taxpayers' money to fight the KKK. So he had no choice but to back down. But it was really sad. Yeah. yeah that that's, that's, that uh, people still were racist. Yeah, well, that's that's the U.S. I mean, that's a thing that uh, persists. And, and uh, it's, I think, it's pretty clear to me that it's what's, Underneath all the trouble we're, we're dealing with today is this, this, you know, hidden message that is really pretty out in the open because Trump is, Trump is like a white supremacist figure that people. Yeah. Well, his dad marched for the KKK in 1927. He was arrested. Yeah. So in, in writing. So, yeah. 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 I mean. Uh, oh, thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Robin. That's my friend, Robin. Oh, uh, thank you. So listen, you guys. Um. Uh, as I told you, uh, our friend here cannot, Andre doesn't do like, you know, world type of, uh, what was going to say, weather events. But while mm -hmm. I was talking to you, when I said that out loud, I did get a hit that we're going to have some extremely weird weather in February and March. I just got that clear as a bell. February mm -hmm. and March, expect weird weather. 
even more so in Europe. I see a lot of flooding going on in Europe. Well, hopefully not in my area. Is my area safe? Or do I need to walk up that mountain now? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm feeling more the UK. The UK is really having some issues. Did you get any trends on the UK? No, the UK, the only trend I get on the UK is that whenever I feel like there, there are tr there's trouble here, they're doing worse. They're just... It just you know, feels really hard for them. It's it's a really, it's a country that is having even more problems, you know, with... Uh, the, the, we think that there's a lot of mis disinformation here and it, UK with their tabloids and the way they... They're running their ship. It's it, it seems pretty bad to me. Yeah. Right. And and you guys, I'll get more detailed. As you know, there's a good size earthquake north of me, four hours north of me. Thank you. I got so many emails. Linda, are you okay? I said, yes. It, I didn't even. Apparently, my alarm went off and I slept right through it. My son, we have cameras everywhere. And my son looked back at the exact time just to see if the house shook a little bit. He said there was no shaking, but you could hear the alarms going off. And then you'd hear. <laughs> so, okay, you guys, while Andre's here, I just want to see if the guides have something else to say. Really weird that they tapped in. Usually I, when I'm working with you, we're doing the astrology. But they told me to tell everybody, February and March, some big mm. events with the weather. And that, um, like next week, we're getting total rain from Monday through for weeks, we're getting rain four or five inches of rain, but over an extended period of time. Rain is good. I, you know, to be honest, we, we get a lot of rain here, Yeah. but I'd much rather have rain than snow and ice. It's right. Just, yeah, yeah. Let me look. Let me look. Hold on. Do you, what are the guys? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my God. They're talking out loud. You guys look at this. Here's Trump upside down and here's, here's Biden. This is my card for Biden. This is my for Trump. So That's what there's, this was the first one. Hey, KT. Thank you, babes. Thank you, Ramona. Um, so Trump upside down with Biden. So the Biden administration or the Biden DOJ is going to have some real good news coming up. 10 days, 10 weeks, 10 months. But it's being that I asked what, what they wanted everybody to know in the near future. And this is, this is, it's like, finally, we're going to see, this is uh, the night, I call the bird of paradise on her shoulder. This is a very lovely card. It's like uh, uh, happiness and wealth. And you know, can I tell you, the United mm -hmm. States of America, for the big world wars, they were the ones that helped win it. The United States of America wins wars. Mm -hmm. And yeah. even though it takes us a while to get off our tuckus, and get down there and do something about it because nobody wanted to go into World War One or World War Two. But by the time we got in, our mm -hmm. five men, they were fantastic. And they they're I think that's why we have a thing in our heart for Ukrainians. Because Ukrainians mm -hmm. aren't asking us to fight this war. But well, they're saying, but they would they just need the money and they'll do it. Yeah. Although they'd like to go in further into Russia, but that, that we don't want them to. Yeah. So we got, listen, you guys, I can guarantee you this. We got some good news. We got some good news next week. Absolutely fantastic news. Look at this. And it's got something with Trump upside down, which means, mark my words, within the next week, we're going to hear something. We're going to all be excited. And it's about the fall of Trump. Wow. In the pre-New Year. That's great. And That's great. This, this, is, this is before us. So some sort of battle, this might be the Ukraine. This might be the Russians are going to take it even harder or there's some news about the Ukraine, some wow. victory that the Ukraine's going to have. Something good with the Ukraine, I got to tell you. Well, I, that's where I'm, you know, that's where I'm traveling to. So if I get there, maybe I'll knock on his door because it's West Palm Beach. I'll knock on his door and tell him in person. Hey, by the way, uh, you're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> By the name, by the way, my excuse me. I'm Andre, and I'm a, I'm a astrologer, and my friend is Linda G, the Comancho Psycho. Yeah, <laughs> got some very bad news for you. And she said in so many words that you're hosed. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was asking, what do we do with Don Junior? Poor Don Junior, he's going downhill. I know you guys don't have, don't feel bad for him, but I'm telling you. 
he's in so much trouble. Melania signed those taxes too. So she's going to get pulled into this. The only one I see really just kind of running away is, uh, is, um, and getting away with it is uh, Ivanka. Well, Iv Ivanka seems to be though, when you, when you look at that family, she seems to be the most uh, attuned, the most, uh, is the word intelligent? I don't know. She seems uh, more measured. And I think she and Kushner, you know, they, they you notice that they pulled away. They don't want any part of it. And uh, that tells you that they're probably smarter. Whereas my, Junior and Eric I've are- I've seen Kushner in trouble. I've always seen him in a suit, I've, uh, in a, a jail suit. Yeah, I well, predicted maybe. this years ago. When my guides first tell you something, you believe them then. Because the first, like with my readings, my first reading with a person is the best reading. Because so I'm you, clean, I go in, I give you the information, and it usually comes true. Did you see uh, Ivanka visiting him in prison? Because that would be good confirmation. I, no, I actually see them getting a divorce. <laughs> oh, really? She's going okay. to leave, and apparently yeah. there's a little trouble in paradise. Don't quote me. But it 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 feels like there's there's a lack of respect between all of them. Thank you, Tapsy. Oh, look at the precious baby. Well, you guys, please say a prayer for my grandson who's in the hospital right now. Um, I know and they were saying that uh, he has a horrible headache. They think it might be flu related. Uh, Kushner, like father, like son, they were saying that the weirdness between the Kushner family he calls him daddy still, and he's a grown man, and he kisses him on the lips. I don't know what's wrong with that, but apparently some people think it's weird. Personally, I think Europeans were very loving like that, but I don't care. Well, they now you're usually European, you don't you kiss people. Oh, they you don't you don't kiss people, and that's not no. <laughs> Uh, no pat on the butt. I like to pat on the butt. Yeah. <laughs> Thank uh, you guys for showing. We had 2,798, my friend. Excellent. Oh, Lisa. Lisa said, so sad here at Christmas. We need to just go see Lisa. Let's just pack our stuff and go see Lisa. Merry Christmas, Seascape. Happy holidays. Lorraine, thank you. Thank you for praying for my son. I'll show you what my daughter sent. Hold on. And I had my phone next to me because I was waiting for my for my daughter. There's Jaden. Oh. They're in the ER. You know how uncomfortable that is. They gave him an anti-anemic shot. So um, he's a Virgo, by the way. He's September. Mm. Uh, to help, I guess he was vomiting too. So that's probably why they think it's the flu. Mm. So listen, please stay warm. I'm praying that you have wonderful, wonderful. I think Mel and I are going to be on Christmas evening. Probably do some more of those, those card things that we do to talk about what people want for their new year. More personal readings than political readings. People love that. Mm. People love to know. So what, what about me? <laughs> So, and thank you guys for, for um, okay, and I'll let her know today. As soon as I hang, I hang up here, I'll let her know. For um, Kirsten, you guys uh, donated uh, over a little over $2,000. Plus, she got another $1,700 from a straight to her thing donation. So, thank you, you guys. And she said she's going to be able to take care of her bills. She can get better. And she's doing a live at 4 o'clock, you guys. Oh, so, excellent. Okay. At four o'clock well, today? Today is the live? Today. Yeah, I'm going to check yeah. her out. She said she's down to 109 pounds. I said, Jesus, girl, you almost weigh as much as me. Jesus. <laughs> Only one pound more than you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Linda, the comedian. Can't resist. <laughs> every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's look at this. Wind chill in South, South Carolina. It's uh, 13. Oh, Lord have mercy. 13. It's even cold in Florida. It's even cold in Florida. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, where it's the bomb cyclone. What yep. a name. Yeah. I know something in February and March, some other weird, but I don't know if it's the United States. I keep seeing Europe, so we'll see. Okay, you guys. God love you. Bye, everyone. Bye.